What's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to get right into this one. Now, this video is going to be a video telling y'all why authorized user trade lines can end up getting you denied credit. Because I talk to a lot of people on a daily basis, and everybody is so stuck up. they so stuck on authorized user trade lines. This, authorized user trade line. I want to get authorized user, authorized user. But what you're supposed to understand in 2023, authorized users are only supposed to be meant for the icing on the cake only, right? Meaning that if this authorized user gets removed off your credit profile, your credit will still be good. All right. So let me just take it a step back for y'all that don't know what an authorized user is. It's basically or what an authorized user on your credit is, is basically you piggybacking off somebody else's primary trade line. All right. So primary accounts are accounts in your name that you get that you pay on time. Right. An authorized user, you piggybacking off somebody else's primary account, meaning they add you on to their credit card or whatever as an authorized user. And then their history goes on your report. That's what an authorized user is. All right. Now. Authorized user is not your primary account. So when a bank or somebody pull your credit, they can see the difference between an authorized user and the primary. They know that this is not your account that you're paying on, right? So it doesn't hold as much weight as primary accounts, all right? So don't go get an authorized user. It's just going to think you're going to slap two, three authorized users on there. Then, you know, your score might be a 720, 730, but it's, it's, it's like putting on cologne without getting in the shower first. It's backwards. You know, you got to, you know, clean yourself up first and then put on cologne. You got to get make sure your primaries is good first and then go get the authorized users. Just so it can be the icing on the cake so it can take your profile over the top, right? But you're not relying on these authorized users to have good credit, all right? So I always recommend people get primary accounts first, all right, so if you're looking for some type of primary accounts, you can click the link below. And I have accounts that anybody can get approved for. Good credit, bad credit, you know, no credit. Anybody get approved for these accounts. They will not pull your credit, all right? Uh, so make sure y'all got primary accounts first, primary trade lines first, and then worry about the authorized users on the back end. All right, because other than that, if you just throw authorized users, you're going to have a fake credit score. Like, it's not really yours, in a sense. So, you want to build yours up with primaries first. But that's my video for today, man, because I notice a lot of people get stuck on authorized user trade lines, right? Uh, which is not, the hype isn't the same as, like, you know, three, four, five years ago. It's 2023, these lenders and everything, they caught on to this. So, just build your profile out with primary accounts first. Um yeah, but that's my video for today, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this out with 5, 10, 15, 20 people, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.